Hello. Okay, so we're back at our favourite foreshore, and we haven't been here for quite a while. No. So we're hoping to find some fresh new treasures. And just by looking now, there looks to be a few things lying around. Yeah, that there does. Got our eye on already. Look at all the pottery <laughs> just below our feet. So come on, let's, let's do, do it. it. Yeah, marmalade pots. This one there, and this one here. This is quite a nice one, actually. I might take that. I think it's whole with no cracks or chips. Yeah, I'm going to take that one. There's also a lovely jar there, and this is a cod bottle, but it won't be whole. No, it's broken. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so my first find is down here. I think you can see what it is straight away, look. It's a pipe bowl, but it's a knobbly pipe bowl. Reminds me of thorns. Knobble bowl. And I imagine it's knobbly like that so you can grip it and it doesn't slip. Um, but this is actually not my first find, to be honest. I'm not telling the whole truth because I saw a Oh, there it is. There it is. A cod marble. There. Ta-da. Of course, there's always a cod marble. No doubt there's going to be a few of those, as, as always. Uh, but I did see another marble here, but it's a bit knackered. Yeah, there's another marble there, but it's a bit broken. What's that? A brass ring thing and a bag seal. CC. That's Cars of Carlisle. Ooh. I'm not sure what that brass thing is worth taking, but I'll take it anyway. So, really good, positive first finds there. Okay, hey, there's a stopper here, Alex spotted. And it's lovely because it's out of an apothecary bottle. It's out of like a chemist bottle. So hopefully that will fit a bottle of ours at home. Isn't that lovely? That's gorgeous. So this jar I picked up earlier has the remains of the label on it. It's sort of the ghost of the label. Yeah. Um, it looks like a Union Jack on there. Oh yeah, it kind of does. And is that an O? Like an ox? Uh, it's like an oxo? Might be able to wash it in the water, mm. but I'm pretty sure I it's some it kind of off. pickle jar, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. But it's similar to the jar that we've been keeping our marbles in. Yeah, it is, but we've had to uh, upsize because it's not we big enough for marbles. all of our cod marbles. <laughs> our cod marble collection is getting out of control. Yeah. Looks like someone's dug quite the hole down here, and you can probably see it already, but I have spot a pipe bowl. It's probably... Oh, my foot's stuck. <laughs> Probably a heart pipe bowl, but who knows? Let's have a look. No, it's not, it's got words on it. What's it that? Oh, what's oh my say? goodness, look at that! Queens, Queens. Oh, it's not Jubilee pipe, is it? No, because we've it? just had our Queens. Ju oh, there is Victoria. <gasps> Let's go and wash it. Let's go and wash it. Oh my goodness. And here we go again, right after that one, we've got another one. There, another pipe bowl. And I think this one actually is plain. Yeah, it's a plain one. Might have some words on the stem actually. But I also spotted this. Is that a marble? That is a very tiny marble. Must be like a little baking bean or something. So Alex is going to uh, wash the pipe bowl. Yeah. So we can see what it says. What does it say? It says Jubilee. Look, there's Queen Vicky. It's oh, Queen yeah. Victoria. You can just about see her head. No, no, the other side. What does that say? Not sure. It says Queen's Jubilee. Pipe. Oh. Queen's <laughs> Jubilee pipe. 
Yay! Look, there's like clovers. Uh, that is so apt. There's a rose, clovers, thistles. Because this is our Queen's um, Jubilee. It's yeah, it's a platinum. platinum Jubilee, uh, 70 years on the throne. Yeah, how weird is that? What is <laughs> the, what are the chance of finding a, a Jubilee pipe on the Jubilee? Fantastic. Brilliant. Love it. I'm really pleased that. I thought it was going to be a heart pipe. So I'm yeah, really they usually happy. are. And I spy a tiny bead down here, a little orangey yellow bead. Look at that. Wonderful. And I can see something hiding. Can you see it? You can't hide from us. It's a cod marble. There it is. Another one for our pyramid. Right, there's something in here and I'm bringing you along just in case it is something. It's a funny shape and it looks glass. I think it was a cabochon. Maybe it was like painted, but the paint's all come off. Yeah, it's probably like a cabochon and off some kind of jewellery or something. Maybe. But we'll be able to use that again. Love finding cabochons. Okay, so down here, I wasn't sure what this little ball was and I gave it a prod. Just here, and I'm pretty sure I know what that is. I think it's agate. I think that is an agate bead. Like a gemstone bead, look. Oh, that's fantastic. Doesn't it? It looks like a piece of banded agate. A, a, yeah, it's like yeah, carnelian. It carnelian bead. That's fantastic. Next to it, I just found this. And oh. Could... It's cross hatched on both sides. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that was. Do you think it was some kind of bead? Or the end of a hat pin? Oh, yeah, the end of a hat pin. Oh, what a shame it's broken. Yeah. I'm literally just going to say you that. You can see where something's been up. Oh, the yeah, of it. up the middle. Oh, no, what a shame. Oh, I know. Oh, almost two bead things. I'm really happy with that agate one, though. Look yeah, at that. we don't usually find agate ones. No. I think that's the second only agate bead I've found. Fantastic. This pretty gemstone is the second only carnelian bead we've found to date. Its uneven shape suggests it was hand cut, and it appears the stone was roughly drilled from either end to create the hole. It's possible that the stone itself was mined here in Scotland. Scottish agate became very popular in the 19th century, especially in jewellery called Scottish pebble or Scotch pebble jewellery, and luxury items like wax seals and boxes. If you haven't watched last week's video, we went rock hounding in search of natural carnelian agates just like this. And there's a pipe here. I think it is a heart pipe, but it's got a big piece missing so I might just leave that there for someone else seeing as we have so many of them there's a bit of pottery here and it's got a bit of battle dress on it like a soldier's uniform and underneath it says General Lord and we know who this is even though his head's missing it's General Lord Kitchener and he seemed to be a very popular figure on mugs back in the day. But we'll leave him here. There's another one. What? All these poor dogs. So we find so many of their canines and skulls. It's so sad. Found this. Base of a marmalade jar. Not genuine unless bearing a hip WP Hartley's label. And we're collecting these actually because we did attempt to cut it down and it worked really well as like a coaster for our teacups and they're really nice and quite flat on the bottom when they're cut down so we're definitely collecting up these broken bases.
down here hiding. Is it a bead? Yes, it is. It's a beautiful, like, cobalt colour bead. Isn't it beautiful? And what's this down here? Oh, it's a little bone button. Oh, how lovely. Look at that. I love bone buttons. And there's a pipe bowl down here. It's a heart. And I'll take it because it's quite... It's quite whole. Something here. What is this? Oh, no. <laughs> It's a melted marble, but look, it would have been lovely. Actually, it's quite nice the way it is. It's sort of melted into a lovely blob. <laughs> That's really nice, actually. I like that. It looks like a sweet. Mmm. Mint and strawberry. I'm not sure what this is, but... Judging by the colour, it looks like it could be silver. Hmm, interesting. There is a bullet. Some kind of bullet. I think it's a 303. And another bag seal. I think this has something different on than the one I found before. MDC, I think. That side. Oh, I'm not sure. J something W. I have to look that one up. That's quite interesting. Down here is a strange looking thing. It's like a cone, but it's got, if I can make it focus, it's got clear glass on the end over a cone shaped inner white glass, and that end's polished so. That is, I don't know, maybe the top? I have no idea. Or it could be a bud vase that way that's gone into a holder. Hmm, interesting though. Now I can see something down here. Can you see it? I'll zoom in. There it is. It's a cod marble. Oh, it's a nice one as well. That's, it. That's very clear and shiny. Beautiful. A pipe bowl and a bit of stem. It's an interesting shape. It's like quite skinny. And it has a name on there, I think. Say, oh, is that Tenant? Yeah, Tenant. Is it Newcastle or Berwick? Oh, I can't actually tell. Oh, I don't know. That's interesting. I've not seen a tenant pipe like that before. Wonderful, wonderful bead find down here. And this type of bead is what it was used as a trade bead. This is a cane cut bead. Wow, look at this. It's green with white, red and yellow decoration on there. Wow, and these beads would have been drawn out and cut, chopped into little sections like this one has. Oh no! This is not another broken pipe bowl head, is it? Oh no, it. Oh no! No, it is! It's a head pipe bowl. It's like the face of a man. Oh, okay. Is it an African man? He's got an earring in, look. Just going by the hair. Oh wow, look at the detail on that. It's beautiful. I'm absolutely gutted that that's broken. He's so detailed. Look at the detail on his face. Oh no. I'm gonna have to look that up. Hopefully, we might be able to get some information just by going off his face. Look, ear, looks like an earring. 
Wow, and the detail in the hair. Oh, wow. Although both of these finds are beautiful, the handsome face with his earring and the pretty striped bead, they both represent a very dark period in our history. According to the National Maritime Museum website, between 1662 and 1807, Britain and British colonies purchased an estimated 3,415,500 Africans. Of this number, 2,964,800 survived the Middle Passage and were sold into slavery in the Americas. The transatlantic slave trade was the largest forced migration in human history. As early as 1776, the House of Commons debated a motion that the slave trade is contrary to the laws of God and the rights of men. On the 23rd of August 1791, there was a huge uprising in Haiti which played a crucial role in the abolition of slavery and eventually led to the signing in 1807 by King George III, the act of the abolition of the slave trade, banning the trade of enslaved people in the British Empire. But it wasn't to be until the 1st of August 1838 that this was finally achieved with full legal emancipation guaranteed. The pipe bowl we found could have been produced and smoked for a number of reasons. It's probably French and dates from the latter half of the 19th century, long after the abolition of slavery in Britain. That's not to say that it didn't still represent the people who produced the tobacco that was being smoked either as free workers or as slaves in the Americas, where slavery wasn't abolished until the end of 1865. Earlier pipes of this type, usually with the motto, Am I not a man and brother? were produced in support of anti-slavery. It could also simply be a character pipe, popular at the time which represented celebrities and people of different nationalities. As for the trade bead, it was beads like this that were produced in their millions, to be used in the trade of goods and human beings for the slave trade in Africa. After slavery was abolished, beads such as this continued to be produced and used in trade. Of course, these finds weren't planned, and it is a complete coincidence that today, the 23rd of August, is International Day for the remembrance of the slave trade and its abolition. So let us never forget those who fought for the principles of liberty, equality, dignity and the rights of the individual. I wonder if that will have a name on it. You wait until it's cleaned. I'm just at the corner of my eye, I can see something down here. And it says H for house. <laughs> I don't know whether to keep that or not. I don't know what I'd do with it. It's a bit big to make into jewellery, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Oh, and here, what's this bit of metal? Hmm, what's that? No, I don't think it's lead. Could be silver. I'll have to take it home and see. Okay, so I just spied this little thing down here. Tiniest leg. You know what we say? It's a leg. <laughs> I don't know why you say that. I've always said that from the first leg I ever found. Yeah. <laughs> But that's a perfect tiny little leg and we always find legs. For some reason, more legs than arms, but mum can make a wonderful doll out of that. Yep. <laughs> on our new, our new crafting and channel as well. So she's already been practicing, so you'll have to subscribe to our new channel to see us and mum making a doll out of some of our doll parts like this. Right, so it seems we've got a few metal bits and bobs down here. So first I saw this, which I think is like a clothes fastener. I think that's what it might be. Oh, actually I've just seen a, another clothes related item, bone button. And where's my other, oh, this, I picked this up before. It's metal, I'm not sure if it's a coin or a button. Can't tell right now. And my third thing, 
I'm not sure if this is anything. It looks like it's in the shape of something though. It's lead. Oh. No, actually, I think it's something. What is that? Oh, a thistle. I can see a thistle there. Is it some kind of badge? Oh, is it is there like a bust here? Maybe if Oh, look there, on that angle. Can you see it? The face, the bust of someone. Oh, and it says 18 something. 18. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, look. There's also a little clover there. So we've got Scotland and Ireland. It says a date. Looks like 18. 18. Wow. That's like Georgian. Oh, I wonder what it is. It's like cast lead something. That's interesting. Hopefully we'll be able to do some research on that. This mystery object is made of pewter or lead alloy and bears the date C1838 and the bust of a man or woman. It's interesting to note that 1938 is the date when Britain finally abolished slavery. 1838 is also the date of the coronation of Queen Victoria and the year that young Grace Darling helped rescue survivors of a shipwreck off the coast of Northumberland. This could have been a badge to commemorate any of these things, but we can't seem to find anything similar to compare it with. If you have any information, please leave a comment down below. Down here I think I can see a button, and yes it is. What is this? Just sitting here on the mud, muddy bank side. Is it a button or is it a cabochon? I can't tell if it's been a button or it's just been a cabochon or something. But that's fantastic. I love it. Just seen a button down here, look. That's interesting. Authentic. Yeah, I'd definitely say circa 2020, maybe? Maybe it's fallen off the trouser of one of the notorious bottle diggers that have been here. Who knows? Ah, so here's one of these things. These bone rings. And they were a bit of a mystery for a long time. But they're either off a baby bottle feeder or a baby's dummy. So they could be off either of those things. Or some of them actually, the ones with flat edges, were also off like cotton spools. So yeah, they could be off a number of things really, but... Wow, yes, we're collecting them to use on our dummies, our bone dummies. Down here I can see something. Can you see it though? Zoom in. Can you see it now? Here it is. It's a cod marble. Out of a cod neck of a cod bottle, which is a sort of internal stopper inside of a cod bottle for those of you who don't know. The one? What's it made of? It is! Bone! It's another one of those rings. That's weird. I literally just found the other one over there. Just up there somewhere. This one's a little bit ski whiff though. Cool. And I've just found this decorative piece of metal and I think it 
could be off a piece of jewellery. Not sure what it's made of. Probably copper or brass. But I will use that in one of my making things videos. So I can already see what this thing is here. It's another headless horseman. A red coat and riding his horse. He's got a sword. And this is a tin lead alloy. Cool. We'll go in our little family, our little collection. And I've also, in the other hand, got a few other bits and bobs that I've picked up. A giant doll's ear and some pipe stems that we're still collecting for things. But yeah, look at the size of that doll's ear. <laughs> Actually, it looks like there's a hole there where there's been an earring or something. Oh yeah, there is, look. There's a hole out the other side. Looks like our dolls had an earring in. That's interesting, I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's really interesting. And look what I found here. It's an Alex. Oh no, she's been spotted. Here's the teeniest, tiniest little lead soldier. Look at that. He's tiny. And very delicate. Look at him. He's carrying his gut a gun over his shoulder, I think. I've come down here, down by the water, and look at that. Pretty sure I know what that is. It's our little head. Oh. <laughs> oh no. With no no shoulders or anything. It's just it's just the head. A little boy or a girl. I'm not sure if it was a doll or a figurine, but it'll join our other little heads in our head collection. I wasn't sure what this was at first. And it is made out of pipe clay. And I think it's actually a piece of pipe stem that's been shaped somehow. Yeah, look, it's been shaped worn down and it's square-ish. Do you think it's been used as like a piece of chalk or do you think it's deliberately been made into a bead? Like a rudimentary bead of some kind. That's interesting. I've not found anything like that before. It's a really interesting little, little find. What's that thing? There's a decorative thing over there, look. That thing. What's that? Hmm. I don't know. Looks like it's been clipped to something. Has it got something written on it? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not sure what it is, though. Mystery find. For now. This interesting little copper alloy object is a sort of clasp, either a boot clasp or more likely off a leather purse, bag or belt. There are traces of the lugs on the back where it was attached to the leather. A leather strap with a hole and a slit would have fitted over the nub on the clasp. Okay, so mum's got some goodies down here. What have we got? It's a bit oh, of a domino. A domino! But it's oh, got the yes. corner missing, unfortunately. Oh, well, it's the best part of a domino, though. Best part. <laughs> and That's this, I, I don't know what it is, but it's got a dangly oh. thing on it. Oh, The yeah. pin with a dangly thing. Oh, yeah, maybe it's some kind of, like... Pin with a dangly pin thing. with a dangly thing on it. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I'd one. say it's definitely a pin a with a dangly yes. thing. Yes. Absolutely, I think it's spot on there. Hey, they're good though. I like the domino. That's always a very good find. I love finding them. Great. Mm. And then down here, I've just spot something out the corner of my eye before I let you go. Corset fastener. Oh. 
Can't have too many corset puzzles. Oh no, can't have too many of these. I'll have to think of something we can do with them actually. Okay, so I almost missed this because it's so well camouflaged. But it's down here. But it can't escape me. It's a pipe bowl. And is it plain or has it got something on it? Oh, wait a minute. What's that red thing? Is that something or is it just stuck to it? Oh, I don't know now. I've got my trousers. Oh, I think it was just something stuck to it. Yeah, so I think it's just a plain one. But still, we can use it for something. I found this absolutely beautiful piece of glass. Look at that. I think it's been some kind of chalice. Oh, does it have a registration mark on the inside? Oh, I might have to keep it. Well, actually, I'm going to keep it anyway because I can use it. Yes, it does. See on the inside there? I'm not sure how well you can see it. But it has a registration number, which means we can look it up and maybe even look up the maker of the glass. Might have been made in the Northeast. Well, actually, it probably was made in the Northeast. But look at that. It's opalescent definitely use that for something. Oh, you can't see it on the camera very well. There we go. You can see it a bit better now. Beautiful. I'm glad it's got a registration mark. A big thank you to Anthony from Northumberland Mudlark on Instagram who recommended this incredibly helpful book. We can now see by the registration number on the glass that it was made in 1888 by Bertels, Tate & Co, Poland Street Glassworks, Manchester. Okay, so I've just found the tiniest bead. I know I always say it's the tiniest bead, but this is a tiny... I can't even pick it up. That is a tiny bead. But a bead is a bead. I'm keeping it. Wow. It's tiny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that is the teeniest. How did you even spot that? It was upside down. I just saw the round shape. The teeniest fasted, like, cabochon thing. Oh, wait. It might be a bead. A bead? Might be a bead. Hold on. I'm going to drop it. <sighs> might have been a bead or is a bead. It's a bead. Looks like one that, you know, those bracelet beads. Oh. Might be one of those. It's tiny. Yeah. Tiny. It's brilliant. <laughs> Look at all the pottery in the water though. Look how crazy that is. Absolutely full of it. Bet there's treasures down there. Put it in your pouch. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll put it in my pouch. Alex said she's found something interesting. So I'm on my way over to see what it is. What have you found? Another one of those dummies. Dummies? Oh yeah. Look. With the little slit in it oh, and the yes. ring at the bottom. It's a ceramic dummy handle. Yeah, how cute is that? It's funny because you found a bone ring with yes, it. Yes, I did. It's in my pouch actually. So all we need is the teat to go on the end. We've got a complete there we dummy. Go. That goes on there and then there would have been a teat. The teat would go on and then you press the ring over it. And it was a dummy and they How were very cool secure actually, very secure. And the slit is for letting the air in and out of the dummy, of, yeah. out of the teat on the end. And How the cool is that? the design hasn't changed to this day. Yeah, it's so similar. So one Victorian thing was actually quite safe. <laughs> Fantastic. For a change. It's a great find. It is. It was a while ago that we discovered that these strange ceramic objects were in fact babies dummies or pacifier handles. Along with the bone disc we've added a modern dummy teat to recreate what they would have looked like. We've also found earlier and contemporary versions carved from bone. The bone discs that we find were also used on the notoriously dangerous baby feeders. However, some of the bone discs we found are off the ends of bone cotton reel spools. 
Because all of these things were mundane everyday objects, there remains little record of their history. So to be able to identify and record them for other treasure hunters and future generations is a real privilege. Okay, so I thought this was broken at first. This funny rectangular thing. But turns out it's actually a little lid. Well, it's funny, you never found one in that kind of style before. So, you know, we found dozens and dozens of lids. Little doll's lids. But yeah, that's a new one. A square one with kind of like thumbed decoration around the edge, which is interesting. I think this old guy is gonna be the last find of the day. I think it's a cow. <sighs> I think. It looks like a lion from the front. It's a weird looking thing. Is, is it a, a wolf? I don't know. I don't know, is it a dog? Maybe it's a dog. Do you think it's a dog? What do you think? I don't know, it looks like a dog. Might be a dog, no. might not be a cow. No. I thought it was a cow. Mm. <laughs> okay, so these are Mum's final finds of the day. What have we got? It's a little brass hook and a drip of glass, which both things are things I can make things with. Yeah, I like the hook. Pirate's hand, like pirate's oh yes, hook. maybe you can make a pirate doll. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so this was really difficult to spot but I just had a feeling that thing there just looks like a rock I think it might be a bead yeah look it's a hand faceted something got all those beautiful facets oh it's not a bead I'm not sure I think it might be black glass that's beautiful, look at that, look at it sparkle. It's definitely a hat pin end. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Hand fasted hat pin end. Really beautiful, go in our hat pin collection, hat pin end collection. Um, but we can actually make the pin and make them back into hat pins. So that's a project for our new crafting channel. Brilliant. Okay, I thought I found my last find, but I can see something blue here, and I'm hoping it's going to be a bead. It looks awfully like it is, and it is. It's a beautiful blue bead. That is wonderful. I love it. Yay! We had a lot of fun finding these little pieces of history and have learnt a few things along the way. Which treasures would you like to see in the Window of Wonders this week? Huge thank you to all who have subscribed to our channel. Last night we hit the 80,000 milestone, which of course we couldn't have done without you. Next big milestone for us will be 100k, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell. It's free and you'll be kept informed of new videos and community posts. Okay, so we've had a wonderful, wonderful evening down on the foreshore, actually. It's been really, really beautiful. Yeah. And we found some great stuff. Yeah, fantastic finds. We weren't expecting to find much because you don't usually find very much here in the summer because the, the river doesn't get very high. We don't get much water. No. Washing, washing new, new things, things out. Yeah, exactly. So we are quite surprised with the great stuff we found. <laughs> Um, stuff we haven't looked up yet, but I have a feeling it's going to be very, going to be even more interesting when we do. But you all have already seen all of that, so um, yeah. On that note, we're going to say a great big thank you um, to everyone who has liked this video, who has subscribed to us, and who has subscribed to our brand new making channel. Yes. So we've got a link to our brand new making channel down in the description below, where we're going to be making things out of the mudlocking 
things that we find yeah. and inspired by the things that yeah, we find. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, go and subscribe to our new channel <laughs> as well. We'd be really grateful. Um, and a great big thank you to everyone who has uh, donated to our channel, of course. Left a comment below and to all of our Wonderful amazing patrons on Patreon who helped keep us going every month. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much. And we'll see you again next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.